Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. The Handheld Hack is a uh, video netcast and a blog that has to do with handheld computing. We all tend to use handheld devices these days and more and more and more as time goes by. And I'm telling you what, I don't know what I'd do without my tablets and my phone and all the things that I use that are handheld devices. And there's a lot of things happening there. Uh, it's been a while since we had a video netcast. Uh, handheld Hack version 11 uh, was out some time ago, actually back in July. Wow, it's been a little too long since we did one. But let me share with you some of the things that we talked about on the Handheld Hack blog. And that URL is right here, handheldhack.com. All right, first off, I want to talk about something that is just personally to me one of the best things I have found for a handheld device if it's an Android, okay, and if it's a supported platform. There's a couple of, you know, caveats in there, but I'm telling you, it was something that I was looking for. It is called FoxFi, F-O-X-F-I, FoxFi. It is a free app that you can download, in my case, on my Droid X smartphone. And uh, that phone is a Verizon phone. And, you know, Verizon, in my case, for my account, would charge $30 for it to become a Wi-Fi hotspot. Well, with this software, this application, you can install it on the phone for free. You don't have to pay the $30 to Verizon. This is assuming you've got a data plan like mine that's an unlimited data plan. And you don't have to root it. You don't have to root your phone. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything physical to the phone. And, most important to me, you don't have to tether it. I don't have to remember to bring my cable with me. I can just crank up the software, hit a button, set the phone aside, and I've got a Wi-Fi hotspot using my phone to get out to the Internet and it's very convenient. Now, I don't use it all the time. I don't, you know, hey, Verizon, don't get all upset. I use it for situations that I absolutely have to be, uh, have it available. See, I've, I've, got, I've got a beeper this week because uh, I'm on call for work. Well, if they call me, I need to, wherever I am, immediately pull out my laptop and get on the Internet and be able to address that problem, whatever it is. I mean, when you work for a, a health care system, a hospital, you know, there may be life or death things going on. you got to get things back up immediately. So this is an awesome tool, uh, and it's a free application that I can download, use it on my phone, and have a Wi-Fi hotspot. Then I can hit a button, turn it off. I don't have security issues. I'm not using bandwidth. Man, this, it is an awesome application. So I'd encourage you to check that out. It's called FoxFi, F-O-X-F-I. All right. Next item here is a Chinese handheld gaming device. This is actually pretty cool. It's an Android-based handheld made in China, so it's very inexpensive, and it runs Android-based games like, you know, Angry Birds and so forth, the things you can get on your, uh, on your phone, but it's got, you know, a whole PlayStation Vita kind of thing going on where you can use the controls and play games and so forth. It's pretty cool. So check it out. Uh, I've got links there in the show notes that you can check that out and, and look into this device. Like I said, very inexpensive, made in China. And uh, there's a lot of things that are moving that way. The next item, as a matter of fact, talks about a device that can convert your regular phone. Uh, one of the things they show in the, uh, in the, the, uh, the article here, uh, when you link to it, is that it turns an Android-based phone into a handheld gaming device with this um, little addition, this little plug-in system for it. And uh, it will be very inexpensive. It's called the Game Clip with a K. G-A-M-E-K-L-I-P. Game Clip. Clips into your phone and then it gives you the controls that you would have on a handheld gaming console. Pretty neat stuff. So check that out. Also, Arcos. Some of you are familiar with Arcos. They are bringing out a 7-inch Android-based gamepad tablet. In other words, it's a tablet. It's a full 7-inch tablet, but it has the game controls built in the tablet. Another neat idea. And if uh, if it catches on, it's going to be under 200 bucks. So, I mean, 
it would be in the competitive market uh, of a Kindle Fire or uh, you know some of the other sub two hundred dollar tablets, but it has the gaming controls built into it as well as being an Android based uh, pad. So pretty neat idea. A lot of neat things happening in the handheld arena. And I tell you, keeping up with what's going on in the handheld arena can be a bit of a challenge. I try, but I encourage you, if you hear about things happening in the handheld world, particularly in the hacking of these devices, maybe rooting them or changing them or using them in creative ways, send me an email, drbill, D-R-B-I-L-L, at handheldhack.com, right here on the screen, and I want to hear about some of what you are hearing is coming in the handheld market. So, remember until the next Handheld Hack Netcast, you're only as good as your last hack. <laughs>